Trying to quit again? Yeah. Robert doesn't like you smoking, huh? No. And since I'm gonna be living with him, I figure I should quit. He asked me to move in. Funny. I'm serious. You've known the guy a month. That's just until I find a new job in an apartment of my own. You quit your job? You people have been telling me I should quit. Yeah, but most people have a new one first. Well, I didn't think it was appropriate to be sleeping with my boss. Pardon me for having some morals. Get off it, Karen. You had sex with a guy in a closet. Oh, so if I did it more frequently in a bed like you, then it would be OK? No, it's just you're a smart girl, and when you act stupid, it bugs me. I can't believe I finally find a decent guy who wants a commitment, and then you become a complete asshole. What are you talking about, a commitment? Living together is not a commitment. It's convenient sex. Oh, spoken by someone who knows all about convenient sex. Let me tell you something. Look, I know what Laurel is. And I have never pretended that she's ever going to bring me home to mom and dad. He asked me to move in. I don't have to pretend. You know, you just used to think that you were better than all of us. Now you really, truly believe it. Is that what you tell yourself to feel better about being in this place? Oh, and how are you going to feel better when Robert has to give you spending money after fucking you the night before? You know, Karen, I always knew we would lose you. But I thought it would be to your own success and not somebody else's. gonna hang out with and where am I going oh you're never home and you're not planning any trips to DC are you what Charlie oh, what's wrong with trying honey get on with your life is this my blouse no you just had it in your closet for a long time you know you I'll have your life with Patrick and then you have Robert mm -hmm. and what do I have here you have your teaching job. Liz, I'm tired of other people's kids. I want my own family. So get off your mopey butt and find somebody else. Where? True. Most of the eligible bachelors she meets are under the age of, what, 10? And that is definitely illegal in all states. Hey, isn't Brad stopping by? I don't think so. What? No, what? No, 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 no. You two always do this to me. No, no, no. What don't I know? He doesn't approve. Well, you have only known this guy a month. You OK, time to go. No, I'm, just oh, saying, no, I'm just saying that maybe he's right. I mean, if I did this, you two would totally remonstrate me. What are you talking about? It. I think she's trying to say object. Yeah, well, that's because you have no judgment. Oh, you do? Uh, yes, she does, and we're going. Ooh. I'll see you soon. Excuse what? me, can we can we find another friend so that I have somebody to pick on hey, yeah, in these yeah. situations? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hurry up, I got a new package. Like, I'm leaving. Yeah, I can know. You miss me? to deal with cold stone floors. Speaking of which, I found my prints. Now it's time for you to go home to yours. Are you crazy? And leave all this? Hey. Oh, sweet. <sighs> Besides, my job isn't done until you get a shoe. What happened to a ring? 
A ring is good, but a shoe is more romantic. Ooh. Get out. Fine. I want to see what the kitchen looks like anyway. Get everything okay? Yeah. Yeah? Thanks for the flowers. Mm -hmm. And for making room for me. Yes, I learned about that the first time. The first time? That women need space. You live with your ex? Uh, not intentionally. Uh, How do you live with somebody unintentionally? Um, uh, one day I just I realized all her stuff was here, so. Uh, how long ago was that one day? Oh, God, I haven't talked to her in forever. What's forever? Months. <laughs> How many? Uh, at least two. Yeah. So where do you want to go to dinner? Um, we could have pizza here. No, we have to celebrate this. Okay? Mm, we could have wine with the pizza. You don't want pizza. Okay? Would you put on a dress? I want to take you out. get a guy to buy you dinner and you ask for pizza? Is this how I trained you? Oh, say can you sing all the words to this song? If you can, leave a message. Hi. Uh, it's me. Did I did I ignore your vulnerable side? Because you know I'm, I'm reading I'm reading this book and I think that, that that I might have and I think that maybe that's why we had problems and I know that your parents always suppress suppressed too and I just I, I, I wanted you to know. Hi, Charlie, Liz. I just wanted you to know that we're getting her help and she's gonna be just fine. Okay, have a nice night. You want it back? Uh -uh. You sure? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Excuse me. It's not even. How many people? Sorry, excuse me. I actually, I have a meeting. Okay, have a seat and fill this out. It's totally not. No? Actually, Robert Maxwell sent me. Grammar school? What kind of jobs do they have here? I'm, I'm, I'm going. I don't understand why you want to work anyway. Well, I went to college to become a productive member of society, not a secretary. Try being a domestic for three evil women, and you won't mind phones or typing. You have any salsa? Mm. Please tell me this wasn't your dinner. Um, it wasn't my dinner. What happened? The only thing she had was a secretarial job. The job at Vellum? Mm-hmm. That's a top design firm. Yeah, but it's to be a secretary, not a designer. It's a foot in the door. What's the money like? No, it's not about money. Why wasn't I ever promoted at Maxwell? Well, look at it this way, if you were, 
you wouldn't have had that key to the supply closet, right? Then where would we be? Hello? Hi. Oh. Hi, Karen. Beth, you can't cry every time the phone rings and it's not him. Because it's rude. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, is Liz around? Why can't you talk to me? I am talking to you. No, she's not here. Hey, do you see me as a secretary? Mm, what kind of secretary? Never mind. No, 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 no. I mean, well, no. No, not really. But you know what? I can't see you as a receptionist. And then you did that. Thanks for the pep talk. What's wrong? Nothing. Well, I have to go. Are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, go to bed and don't call him. Good night. Good night. Um, do you really think I should consider that job? I think that you should eat a real breakfast and do whatever you want. Oh, and do me a favor. Would you drop off the laundry? And can you let Meredith in? Who's Meredith? She's a cleaning woman. Sure. Well, at least you didn't ask you to clean. Cleaning woman makes more than me. And she doesn't even do laundry. Hello? I just got in. It's Robert Cole. Uh, no, I'm gonna go meet him at the restaurant. Figures. What figures, Ma? Never mind. Just remember, that necklace you're wearing isn't a ring. Right, Ma. You know what? I actually have to go, okay? You need more toilet paper? Uh, no, that's okay. I love you. Me too. Bye. Wait, no time for happy hour. We have to get ready. I am ready. At least freshen up. Have you looked at yourself lately? 
For 300 years, I don't think I'm doing too badly. You told the foresters you hired an interior decorator because you thought it would be good for me? Yes, I think it's a romantic idea because you like to design. Yeah, advertisements, not your house. Oh, I get it. What, you get what? My house. It would be different if it was our house. What? Are you upset because you want to get married? Married? Right now, I don't even like you. You don't like me? No. You like me. Never take me seriously. Karen, how can I take you seriously? You drink wine from coffee mugs. Why do you think I want to get married? I imagine that you want me to make an honest woman out of you one of these days. No? I guess I was just hoping for being more than an honest woman. <gasps> Don't waste it. What do you want? You to wake up. That is the closest thing to Prince Charming you're ever going to find in this modern age. Since I have a bad habit of telling you how you feel, I think I should mention that I love you. I know. Would you love me more if I fired the decorator? <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to say no. My mother would kill me. No, then at least would you rub my foot? Mm. <laughs> Any chance of me living through this moment by Carrie's dad? I didn't think so. I got her to keep Nixon company. Oh, Charlie, Nixon died a week after you left. I flushed him. Huh. Well, Pat can keep you company. I've left you 50 messages, and the best you can do is a fish? You love Nixon. What are you doing? I wanted to catch up. Is that Liz? No. So, Charlie, what are you doing here? I want to talk about things. 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 Thing, things like the $300 I spent on self-help books, like things like that. And you look great. Your coffee still isn't too good, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. You only have five minutes to drink it. Come on, Beth. Are you going to make me beg? Beg for what? All right, I'll plead a little. <clears throat> Go ahead. I miss you, and I want another chance. Hmm. What do you miss? Um, I miss your coffee. <laughs> um, I miss the way you misuse large words and sentences. And, uh, I miss the asthma attacks I give you when we have sex. <laughs> Charlie, I don't have asthma. Wait, I have four more minutes. You know what? After five months of hell, you're going to have to do better than that. Help yourself. But I thought you wanted me back. Well, I want silicone too, but that doesn't mean I should get it. So goodbye. Goodbye. 
sleep. At least think about it. She'll think about it. Does Robert have any friends? Hey, can I borrow your lipstick? They're all like Charlie. Mm, aren't you so proud of me for throwing him out today? Actually, the fish was a sweet gesture. After months of berating me for calling him, you think a fish is now sweet? But he's still Charlie. Oh, my Thank God. God, look at you. I would have to borrow that, but I would have nowhere to wear it. She has a real party after ours. Ours is real. Besides, since you are both here, sit. I want to ask you <clears throat> to be in my wedding. <laughs> Oh my god, I should have asked you before the mascara. No. No, I'm fine. You're engaged? Well, not officially, but I planned the whole wedding, so why not? No, she did. She booked the place for April. Look, didn't I always tell you he was the one? Besides, I can get the deposit back three months ahead of time. Does Patrick know about this? Of course not. And you two worry about me. Oh, come on, it's just like the guy with the big teeth. You know, the one that talks about the power of positive thinking? You know, I know him. I spent a fortune on his tapes, and you know what? They didn't do me any good. You... You sure about this? I found the ring in this drawer. It's gorgeous. I know he's gonna ask me to marry him tonight. Not knowing that he's gonna be walking down an aisle in four months. I'll just blame the premature wedding plans on my mother. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. So how do I look? Is my hair OK? Yeah. Good, because there's too much hairspray in it to do anything with it now anyway. <laughs> She wanted me back. Yeah, <laughs> until you wanted her. Why would she do that? Women are